What's going on everybody? This is a brand new LRP buggy. Now LRP has a slogan, blue is better. And I am dressed in a blue jacket for a reason. Not because this is probably how people dress in Germany. They wear a blue jacket. They wear go fast sunglasses and they wear a t-shirt that says Moscow on it. In Germany, they drive BMWs. They drive Mercedes and Audi and Porsche. But for the Nitro gang out there, we want ourselves an LRP 1.8 scale S8 Rebel buggy. I will be unboxing this for the very first time today, guys, and doing a proper break-in. If you want to get one of these, I highly recommend it. LRP makes a great buggy with one of the best engines in the world. And also, you want to know how much they cost? Well, if you go to A-Main right now, the link is in the description to this video. You can pick this up for $429. And I will even give you a coupon code worth $25. That means a little bit over $400. You can get a brand new sickening LRP buggy with the blue is better motto. Before I open it up, let's take a quick look at the box so you guys can get the full unboxing experience. 1-8 scale nitro buggy. Now LRP actually distributes a couple world famous brands. Sanwa, known for making great electronics and team associated. So rest assured, you're not getting some kind of cheap VRX HSP clone. This is the real deal. The best thing about this buggy, it comes with a genuine LRP engine, the ZR21 Sport Pull Start Engine. 2.4 gigahertz radio gear, extremely tough with the LRP Works team tested big bore shocks and four hole shock pistons. That sounds like it's going to be very shocking. Low maintenance drivetrain, metal hardened differential out drives exactly what you want. We have pretty good servos, 15 kilogram steering servo. For me, that is a very good. They are also waterproof in case you wanna take it into some puddles. Competition style fuel tank, vented disc brake front and rear with adjustable brake bias when you need it. Obviously we have ball bearings throughout. We have aluminum left and right steering knuckles. We have fully adjustable race suspension with extra long front aluminum suspension brace. This stuff I'm not going to mention. We have the race proven, what they like to call VTEC high grip tires. They're gonna make me wanna get a Honda S2000 so I can yell VTEC baby. The S8 Rebel BX3 RTR is based on a competition chassis with focus on maximum durability and adapted to low maintenance for everyday use. Brand new, go get one at A-Main, you will be happy. The reality is, there are not many other eight scale nitro buggies out there. In fact, the low C8 costs about $100 more. And I think this is a more premium brand and guaranteed this will be much faster because the low C8, well, that is one thing for sure. And that is slow. This is going to be incredible. I know I'm in Germany and I got to wear blue jackets and stuff, but like I, I think global warming hit Germany first because it, it just got really hot in here. But that's okay because we always got ourselves the proper Moscow t-shirt. You ready? I'm gonna open her up. Oh, here we go. The first look, my dudes, the first look, what do we have? I'm gonna go over this in some great detail. First thing you get, you get the quick start instruction manual, also available online for download. We have a couple of uh, air filters, gadgets, battery receiver pack, air filter oil, all of this. I'm going to uh, discuss in a little because we're going to have to fire this up. But listen and look at this engine. LRP, blue is better logo, ZR21 Sport. The real mystery is if blue is better, how come the cooling head is actually black color? So it's, it's a freaking mystery. But I guess I could see why. We do have kind of a red and black theme going on here on this buggy. Shock towers, aluminum, they are black. But I thought blue, blue was better. Germany, what's going on? Did, did Germany sell out to another Chinese automotive brand? The packaging was very nice. Nothing arrived damaged. Let's take some of this out of the box. And I know you guys want to check out the buggy itself. That's what you all came here to see, isn't it? 
or did you come here to see a freshly baked Costco pizza? Today's sponsor. I'm just kidding around. We are sponsor free, but if you do want to become a channel member, feel free. I would highly appreciate it. Let me get this thing out of the box. It's packed real well. All right. There it goes, my dudes. Brand new LRP buggy. Very nice, lightweight chassis design. I could tell good hand feel. I'm just looking at the fit and finish before I kind of give you guys uh, the in-depth review. So far, I don't see any obvious issues with assembly. Well, it landed. It landed quite nice. Here it is, out of the box. We'll come back to the radio later, but I do like that I see a whole bunch of knobs. That usually means we have actual throttle EPA and we have everything in a knob form. I love the knobs. I don't like the digital trims. Four double A's. When it comes down to one of the most important features of an eight scale buggy, that is usually how is the suspension? Well, let's examine the out of the box stock setup. The dampening is incredible. Jang from Ultimate RC Network would be very, very proud with the stock ride height and the dampening setup. Feels well dampened and perfect for a buggy. The rear is also incredible. In fact, I think I like dampening on the rear end even more. Perfect. Nice soft pin style wheels. These wheels are what they like to call the VTEC. So I'm assuming when you hit about uh, 5,500 RPM, or in the case of nitro, 25,000 RPM, you're gonna you're gonna hit the VTEC, and then you know what's gonna happen. All the Ford Mustangs that uh, have like you know V8s, and nowadays the EcoBoost, they're gonna try to race you. But the thing is. What the Mustang will never know is what the hell the VTEC actually does. I know what the VTEC does. That's because I used to own an Acura Integra GSR with the close ratio five speed transmission. I must say suspension so far, I am very satisfied with. We see the giant LRP ZR21 sport cooling head sticking out from the top. Let's take the body off and examine the chassis itself. Pretty heavy duty, hardcore body clips. These are for sure like eight scale. And I like the fact that they are a little bit bent to the side, kind of angled. So you're not gonna have to like, uh, you know, try to kill your fingernails to remove them. Take the body off, body fits nice and snug. Definitely a piece of Lexan, which is nice to see. The LRP buggy greatness. Now I will say this buggy just only recently came out. There really isn't much uh, as to reliability. There's not much on driving videos there's not much on any reviews and that is why i was one of the first to order this one up because you know one of the channel missions here is to make nitro great again and what better way than to buy nitros put great videos out there and hopefully encourage other people to buy nitros and have a very very good time now this shock tower it is relatively thick it's not one of those high-end milled ones that you get on let's say some kind of a race quality hot bodies ds8 but this is you understand after a coupon this after all is a 400 dollar buggy with a polished tuned pipe with a nice lrp engine a proper 2.4 gigahertz radio gear 15 kilogram steering servo what else do you really want and also never forget to mention the fact that we have metal steering knuckles on the inside they're a little bit hard to see but trust me they are metal we also have uh, pretty thick heavy drive shafts going all the way around typical buggy fashion we do have the adjustable front and rear brake bias with dual vented disc brakes you could adjust the brakes any way you want particularly for me i love this awesome geometrically perfect 90 degree throttle linkage we have on the carburetor itself now let's open this up i know it came with a double a battery box well never gonna find these body clips again because they were tiny all right so we have the receiver box on this side and closer to the engine we have the larger battery box the good thing is you don't have to use the four double a battery holder that lrp included you could use a standard six volt hump pack and you will have a ton of power wow look at this massive exhaust header spring i've never seen an exhaust header uh, with such a giant spring this is actually a little bit uh 
I'm gonna have to say it, sickening is what that is. I don't see a throttle return spring around the carb, which is a little bit weird. Uh, generally, you want a throttle return spring, but we will check the fail safe in a little bit. Let's uh, take a look at what else I like here before we put the batteries in and do its very first start. Pipe looks good. I would have liked to have seen more of a one-piece pipe kind of setup, kind of like on the Serpent buggy, but this, after all, is a much cheaper setup, so, you know, can't be complaining. The shocks are actually quite great. The wing is usable, so when you flip it, you're not going to destroy the engine almost right away. Let's take a look at the bottom. We have pretty much a typical buggy-style chassis, metal spur gear. That is a nice touch. Oftentimes, the low-end buggies like this, uh, they don't even come with a metal spur gear. I think the Kyosho Inferno Neo 3.0 comes with a plastic one. This is nice metal, metal. This is a nice beefy metal spur gear. We have a good wide hole here if you want to use the starter box for this LRP engine. We do have mud guards going around the chassis that will protect, um, well, the interior a little bit from dirt getting in. Great access to the pull start location here. Let me take a look inside the fuel tank. What do I see? Okay, we do have a built-in filter right there at the bottom that is great you don't need to do any kind of aftermarket a fuel filter that is perfect well guys i think it's time for me to stick some of this included uh, stuff onto the car air filter the batteries turn the radio gear on and i will take a look in the manual to see what the recommended break-in is I've installed the air filter, it came pre-oiled. I do love the fact that it is a dual layer element. So you have an outside here that is easier to clean when you get like fine dust on it and the inside is oiled. So the extra oil that they included was very nice of them. Surprisingly, I was able to find the world's tiniest body clips for the radio gear. AA batteries have been installed. Let's close it up. Plenty of space here in the receiver box. Most important thing. With the radio equipment on, always check your fail safe on any new nitro you get, guys. So, let me turn the radio off. We will see whether the brakes engage. There we go. Brakes have engaged. Perfect. I'm unable to move the buggy forward. They got this correct because I'll tell you something. When I got the HPI Savage XL, the brakes were not set up to go into failsafe from the factory. That was a bad, bad sign. As I'm kind of looking through it, I found something. Who wants to take a guess what this is? No, you don't pick your nose with it. What you actually do is use this little engine stopper to plug the exhaust and kill the engine. All right? these engines get pretty hot, so obviously, needless to say, that the exhaust gets hot as well. Now, I thought this would have been like some kind of rubberish silicone material, but no, it is hard plastic basically stick it here in the pipe and you kill the engine now i have seen several uh, i would call them engine stopping tools but generally the way they work is you would jam something where the flywheel is i think the kyosho tracker nitro tracker has that feature where you jam something it's basically like a stopper from the bottom i think you activate it with your finger and it um you know presses down on the flywheel and it kills the engine that is the most effective way i will tell you that usually plugging the exhaust is is not the best way to do that the best way to do it is if you have an air filter that's really not like a 360 degree filter like this maybe like uh you know like an old school small filter you just plug it and you cut off the airflow what you're actually doing when you're plugging the exhaust like that you are causing a little bit of buildup of oil in the system and unfortunately that makes it a little bit tougher to start now on regular like rtr engines you really don't notice that but on more performance engines that little element could be the difference between you winning a race and you losing a race but this after all is a brand new lrp buggy for about 400 dollars. so listen I'm not going to be complaining, although I would have liked to have seen the silicone coupler replaced by a uh, more of a single piece pipe design, they call it, and uh, springs. Before you fire anything up, you really have to know kind of what you're doing. Now for fuel, I will be using my last quart of this Bones Brew fuel. Now this is uh, fuel that was basically made with VP fuels. I will put a link to very, very good VP fuels in the description of this video. If you want to get some VP fuel, that is essentially what this is, just a little bit of a different oil package. But going forward, Bones Brew is done. You can only get VP fuel now. Once again, check the link for that. I have read 
the manual. I'm gonna give you the quick down dirty, you know, two sentences. They require four tanks for break-in, letting it cool down for 15 minutes in between each tank. So four tanks, basically you need four heat cycles. Now, myself, I like to kind of double that. So I like to do about seven to eight heat cycles with about a third or half of a tank at each time. Personally, I find that idling uh, a tank of fuel, especially when it's like competition race tank like this, which is pretty large, is a little bit insane in my opinion. So what we'll do, we will fuel her up. The electronics are already on. And then I will preheat it and we will fire this thing up. I'm gonna start with about half a tank because in reality, I do things half a tank at a time absolutely nothing wrong with that this is great fuel but we could still get the vp fuel that basically that bones brew is mixed with all right we're gonna preheat it now give me about a couple minutes it's always a good idea to preheat brand new engines kind of give them a better of a chance to turn over now the manual also does recommend that you loosen the glow plug about half of a turn for breaking and then kind of put it back in i will also do that so don't think i'm not going to do that i have also examined the needles the needles look very very good you could see that high speed needle is correctly set at about four turns out the manual for this buggy has all of that required necessary information so guys lrp will not leave you stranded Make sure you have the buggy off the ground whenever you're starting anything. You don't know what the engagement of a clutch will be like. You don't want it to do a crazy runaway on you. Well, let's prime it. I will observe the fuel in the fuel lines. I like to see the fact that it's also clear fuel lines. That is attention to detail. LRP must watch this channel. Okay. All right, I see fuel. All right, fuel definitely has entered the fuel line and the carburetor. Let's do it guys, first start. If anything, I'll just adjust the throttle trim. It's getting a little bit of fuel, just gotta get it going through the system. guys we used the engine stopper tool it actually does work i can't believe it well of course it works if you plug the exhaust like that it's gonna work well guys that was one heat cycle i have well about six to seven left to go depending how many heat cycles i want to do gotta say nothing bad happened with this buggy i will do more heat cycles do i recommend you go and pick this up of course i do is blue better blue is great it's so great that i am actually wearing hpi purple is that a joke i don't know this is a freaking sickening nitro that you can get for a little over 400 bucks right now use the link in the description to this video and apply the coupon code and order yourself some vp fuel 25 percent nitro is great 30 percent is even better i'll be back with you guys again and we will put this thing on the track i have neighbors all around me so i can't really continue doing the break-ins you know what I'm saying? Sometimes when you do YouTube videos, it actually looks like you're talking to yourself. Well, I thought this video was over. I told you it was over, but now you see me here again. I know, I know. I got the LRP buggy here on the, on the steering wheel, the dashboard, right? But I figure why not do a cool down cycle with a little bit of Domino's food? Let's take a look at what I got here. These are, they're loaded tater tots. 
take a look at that. Did they forget to like include the rest of this side of the tater tots? Where, where's the rest of them? Gotta tell you guys, every day I go to get something like from any kind of restaurant, like the restaurant has one job, make sure your fries are hot. Make sure you don't give the customers less food than you're supposed to give them. Okay. Let's do another heat cycle, ready to go. Domino sucked. <laughs> going down don't even have the body on brakes are perfect stock electronics look at that turning radius that's a crazy crazy good turning radius i think i'm gonna love this buggy guys i think i'm gonna run it love it i could see a good amount of smoke coming out of the pipe there I'm keeping it very low there on the throttle. We're not going above a quarter. Brakes are impressive. Impressive. Awesome idle. Well, I mean, I think that's about it. We're not going to run it too crazy. This is just, once again, part of the video I'm still hungry from that Domino's so I'm gonna have to go get some more food awesome impressive breaks get one of these you will be happy Nitro World Order Nitro World Order 